Emulate believes that we're at an intersection of technology and human biology, which will bring in a new era of human health. Predictive toxicology is the practice of identifying potential toxicities and trying to elucidate the mechanisms as early as possible to then de-risk the future drug discovery process. At Emulate, we've recently designed, executed and reported on the first of its kind study in the organ chip field. The human emulation system is a platform engineered to support next generation in vitro models. These models include biologically relevant physiology or function and a pathophysiology or dysfunction. By leveraging engineering principles, we are able to physically build biological models. These models are referred to as organ chips. So the liver chip was one of the first organ models that Emulate developed and commercialised and it has a long heritage that spanned uh, all the way back at the Wyss Institute which is where Emulate was spun off from. The configuration of the model was developed in conjunction with key industry partners like AstraZeneca, uh, Janssen R&D and others. And uh, in 2019, uh, we published that in Science and Translation Medicine, um, how the, the liver chip was able to reproduce the toxicity of, of certain compounds as they were exhibited in, in humans. Not only were we able to reproduce that, but we were also able to reproduce the species differences that they saw with these compounds and associated toxicities. Our organ chips are plastic devices lined with human cells. They contain two compartments or channels which are separated by a porous membrane. We're able to seed cells on top and below that membrane. The membrane separates the cells, it provides spatial distance between the cells but the cells are able to communicate chemically through the pores. In our liver chip, we have uh, four key primary cell types. We have um, hepatocytes, stellate cells, Cooper cells, and liver endothelial cells. And we bring these together to emulate the liver sinusoid. Now, there are other models on market that use these, these cell types, but what's unique about Emulate and our liver chip itself is that we culture these in two different microfluidic chambers and each chamber has um, a distinct uh, media flow so it keeps the, the respective cells in their preferred environment. There's good crosstalk between those chambers so we, we can see that and the flow itself helps mature the model and we see this in terms of improvements in both morphology as well as functionality. We found that liver chip had a sensitivity of 87% and a specificity of 100%. This means that liver chip was able to identify 9 out of every 10 hepatotoxic drugs. These compounds were picked um, not at random, they were picked by uh, a consortium of industry experts uh, uh, to pressure test next generation models. And what it showed was the liver chip was able to predict not only the toxicity, but distinct, uh, distinguish between the toxicity of highly toxic compounds and their low toxic or, uh, or non-toxic structural analogues. We also collaborated with a financial analyst who helped us determine the economic implication of routine adoption of liver chip in the pharmaceutical industry. The output of that analysis told us that routine adoption of liver chip could produce a $3 billion productivity gain for the pharmaceutical industry. Liver chip was also able to differentiate structural analogues so for instance, if one drug was more toxic than another, but structurally they were very similar, the liver chip was able to determine the difference between those two molecules. The Emulate Organ on Chip technology is completely different than anything in the marketplace. And I believe it started with our technical founders. They approached this with a clean sheet of paper, did not try to force it into current workflows. In doing so, they were able to develop an organ chip which recapitulates what happens inside the human body. Our lung chip can recapitulate a breathing human lung and the forces and the stress that tissues and cells experience during that process. Our intestine chip can recreate parasolysis, which are so important for the tissue-to-tissue -tissue interfaces which are critical in human biology. 
The system is modular uh, by design. It's extensible by design, meaning that you can add complexity if you need added complexity. Uh, if you need a simple model, uh, you can have a simple model. What inspires me at Emulate is that now we are taking what the industry is doing and we're adding microphysiological control to that, so stretch and flow, which are elements of the, the cellular microenvironment that people have, haven't really been using over the last few years. So I truly believe that Emulate is uniquely poised to really help the industry build better models uh, that have more relevant human predictive power.